Hello everyone, my name is Zahidul, I am the Faculty of Science and Technology in Lukman IS. In this video, I am going to do a trend analysis of science and technology section from the means point of view in 10 minutes. So in this particular video, we are going to discuss about the important areas from where UPSC has asked question in the last 11 years, that is from 2013 to 2023. So basically, if we go through the previous year questions of these 11 years, we will understand about the trend in which UPSC has been asking question. So before we go ahead and discuss all those sections one by one, let us talk about the important insights after going through these questions. The important insight is that science and technology is a very dynamic area. Very dynamic area means that in science and technology, UPSC asks questions from those areas that are under development, that are being developed, that are emerging. Okay. And also UPSC requires you to be inquisitive. Inquisitive means like you should have a quest for knowledge. You should be looking for more areas of development, right? You should be updated with the current trends. Only then you will be able to, let's say, solve questions in the UPSC mains exam. If we talk about, let's say, how you should prepare science and technology from the mains point of view. So one important thing is that you should go through the syllabus, right, of the mains exam first. And if we talk about science and technology syllabus, there are three important points that UPSC has mentioned related to science and technology. So these three points are the areas from where UPSC asks questions year on year, right? And also if we talk about what is the weightage of science and technology in the mains exam. Generally on an average UPSC asks three questions every year, although there have been some variation as well. If we talk about 2013, UPSC has asked five questions from science and technology. Then for many years, they have been asking three questions. There have been years where when UPSC has asked four questions. And also there have been years when UPSC has asked only two questions. On an average, UPSC asks three questions from science and technology. What is the weightage? It is about 35 to 50 marks in the mains exam. So is it an important section? Yes, it is a very important section for GS paper three. And you should prepare science and technology. Science and technology will not take much time uh, to prepare, okay. So now coming to trend analysis, the areas where from where UPSC has asked questions. As I discussed that UPSC asks, asks current questions from science and technology, means it asks questions which are in development, right, which are emerging, right, those areas become important. From 2000, uh, let's say like, you know, 2013, 14, 15, like, you know, further years, if you talk about all those years, so those areas where, which were under development, they have asked questions from that section. Let me give you an example. If you talk about 2023 itself, UPSC has asked a 15 marker question from Chandrayaan-3. As you know that Chandrayaan-3 has been launched by ISRO in 2023 itself. So they have asked question from that section. In 2023 itself, UPSC has asked question from artificial intelligence. We know artificial intelligence has been under development, I mean like for many years, but like it has made headlines, news in the year of 2022, 23. 23 has been, let's say, uh, like this year has seen n number of articles in newspapers from, uh, let, let's say from artificial intelligence. If you talk about chat GPT and other various applications from uh, artificial intelligence, they have been in news. That's why UPSC has asked question from artificial intelligence. Also, UPSC has asked question from, let's say like, you know, fuel storage system because e-vehicles are in news. Okay. So the thing is like, from here we understand that any technology that is being developed, right, in current years, in recent years, UPSC is going to ask questions from that section. Okay. Now, if, it, if we segment science and technology into different areas, 
we have biotechnology we have space science and technology we have nanotechnology we have nuclear science and technology we have defense technology we have let's say uh, artificial intelligence which is a very new area or emerging technology apart from this we have nanotechnology right we have it computer and robotics we have let's say ipr ipr means intellectual property rights so there are many areas or subdivisions in science and technology but which is the area from where it has asked maximum number of questions in last 11 years from 2013 to 2023 it is biotechnology upsc has asked n number of questions from biotechnology in fact in the year of 2020 upsc has asked question related to vaccine development how vaccines are being developed okay so why because like you know that was the year when we have witnessed covid 19 pandemic that was the year uh, like you know that has witnessed a lot of new developments from biotechnology area right so biotechnology is the area from where upsc has asked maximum number of question if we talk about space science and technology this is the next most important area upsc has asked so many questions six to seven questions in the last 11 years okay and in 2023 itself they have asked question from uh, let's say uh, this chandrayaan 3 in 2022 they have asked james webb space telescope so space science and technology is also a very important area apart from this if we talk about nuclear science and technology they have asked about two questions from this area if we talk about let's say nanotechnology they have asked two questions from this area if you talk about defense technology they have asked about two uh, questions from this area if we talk about it computer and robotics they have asked questions from this area as well the intellectual property rights is again a very important area from where UPSC has asked questions in the past years, right? If you go through the previous year questions, you will understand that the questions are based on the theme, right? Which are currently trending, which are currently in news. So it is a very dynamic subject. But at the same time, you need conceptual clarity on various areas in science and technology, right? So for that, you need to understand the basic things from science and technology. You should go through the NCRT books also. You should read current affairs from various newspapers like the Hindu, etc. Apart from this, you should also refer to some standard sources, let's say material of coaching institutions like, uh, like you know, from Lukman Eyes also, we have a booklet from science and technology. So like that. So basically when we talk about preparation of science and technology you need to remember that like those areas that are currently trending those areas that are in news right so they are very important from india space sector is emerging sector so from here we get maximum number of questions biotechnology is something which is in development from here also we get questions time and again ipr is an issue that is ever pertaining okay ipr is also a very important area and now the most important area which is under development which is being developed is artificial intelligence you need to learn about artificial intelligence also and i would like to share that like you know in the new mgp program that we have started new means guidance program that we have started from 24th of june here we are going to take classes and from science and technology there will be three classes right one class will be dedicated for the conceptual clarity of various areas and two uh, two classes will be from current development from the recent trends okay so in all i'm going to take three classes and in each classes we are going to give you some questions to solve okay test papers will be there question will be there along with model answers so if you attend the new mgp program you are going to get a lot of insights from me from science and technology section and also various other faculties from lukman is they are also going to help you to cover these areas okay so wish you all the best for the upsc mains exam 2024 thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have a good day ahead thank you